Hello, a few months ago I did a video on how you can install Steam on the beta channel on your Chromebook. Now that worked fine, but the problem with that is when you're using the beta channel, you can use it, but then when you want to go back to the stable channel, you have to completely wipe your Chromebook and you lose all of your data, so you have to back it up. So it's a bit of a faff. The good news is now that Steam is available on the stable channel which is great so you can as long as you've got a chromebook that supports steam you can now install it on the stable channel so you can use it you can uninstall it without having to do a complete wipe of your chromebook which is great news so first of all what you would need to do you'd need to make sure you are using the chrome os version 107 117 sorry so to do that go to your settings down here and then about Chrome OS, and you can see here I'm on version 117. So if you're not on 117, you can check for updates, or if there's no updates available and you're on a previous version, you just have to be patient until your Chromebook gets to 117. But as soon as it's got to 117, then we're all good to go. So the first thing you need to do, you do need to enable a flag. So if you open up your browser and type in Chrome, colon, forward slash forward slash flags hit return and then it is borealis so b r b o r e a i l s should bring it up and the one we want is let's have a look there's quite a few here now so these will do all different things if you're using steam i'm not going into these today um, I'm just doing the one we need so we can install Steam. You may want to install other things as well. Um, force the client to run in two times visual zoom. You can try that. It just all depends on, try Steam sta as standard. If it doesn't seem to be working for you, you can go in and try enabling these other flags as well. But the only flag you should need is Boralus enabled. So it allows Boralus to run on your device. Boralus may still be blocked for other reasons, including administrator settings, device hardware capabilities, or other security measures. So that's on default. You need to change that to enabled, and then that will ask you to do a restart of your Chromebook. So we'll do that now. Okay, so that's the Chromebook restarted. And then from here, we'll just ignore that. Just close that down here. Now, if you go to the Start menu here, or the Launcher menu, and type in Steam, it should then come up with the app. And there you go, it's the Steam installer. Click on that. Welcome to Steam for Chromebook. Now, as you can see, it is actually still saying this is beta, which is quite bizarre. But then we're not in the beta channel. So that's fine. So it may still be in beta, but you're, we're definitely not in the beta channel. Let me just check. So about Chrome OS. Yeah, we're on the stable channel, as you can see there. So that's absolutely fine. So it's still in beta, but you can use it on the stable channel. Okay, so this is a beta program. You can now use Steam to play some games on your Chromebook. So. That was pretty simple, straightforward there. Just click on install. And this is much easier compared to how you used to have to do it when you wanted to go, when you had to go into the beta channel. So it's a lot easier now to install Steam. But yeah, do bear in mind it is still beta. But it works okay with some games. I think it will obviously depend, I'm just talking whilst it's installing. It will obviously depend on how powerful your Chromebook is. You do need quite a powerful Chromebook because you've got to bear in mind playing games locally. Let's be honest, if you want to get a great performance, we're going to have to wait until Chromebooks start coming with built-in graphics cards because that's what advanced games need. But all more, more basic games or games you've had for a few years that you might love on Steam, you should hopefully be able to play them. So once this is installed, I will try and install a game um, that I used to like playing Anno 2070. There's new Anno's now, Anno 1800. That would never work on Steam on a Chromebook, not at this stage. Um, but Anno 2070, I hope, will. So we'll try it. So it looks like it's done. Let's get gaming. So open up Steam. Now I'm hoping this just all works smoothly and we've got no problems. And this should hopefully that means it will also be the same for you as well. Wait for this to go through. 
shouldn't be too long. As far as how long this will take will depend on the Chromebook you're using. If you've got SSD drive, it should be quicker. If you're not, if you haven't, it may be take a little longer as well. Shouldn't be much longer now. Okay, and then we're at the login page, so that wasn't too bad. So now you just need to put in your login details for Steam. And then sign in. Okay, so this has sent a code to my email address. Let me just get that. Um, okay, just putting the code in. waiting for network I'm not going to pause the video because I just want you to see how long it takes so there's no point in pausing the video with this it shouldn't take that long anyway and there we go we're inside Steam that is so much quicker than it was when we had to do it from the developer channel this in the background is just an advert I'm just going to close that down and this I don't think I need that open that's fine and there we've got Steam. Now I'll maximize that. Now from here, what you should be able to do, go to your library and you'll see all of your games from your library here. So what I'm going to try and do, I'll just check to see how much space I've got on the Chrome. But bear in mind, this is you need to have Linux installed to use Steam. So if you haven't installed Linux first, you do need to do that. And I have got a video on how to install Linux on your Chromebook. So you would have to do that before doing this, which I hope you would have realized. But if not, that's what you need to do. The reason I've mentioned that is I'm going to check to see how much storage there is. Um, the storage will be based on my Linux storage, not on my actual Chrome OS storage. So here, Linux storage I set at 90 gigabytes. I have got Windows installed, Windows 10 Professional on this Chromebook, which is via Linux, so it uses that. But hopefully there's enough space here um, for me to install a game as well. But this is another reason why in the future when Steam does get much better and it's, it's already it can be used now in the stable channel, although it's still in beta itself, um, that you know Chromebooks in the future will come with more storage. So I'm going to try and install Anno 2070. I will, if we there's any long gaps here, I'll pause the video because you obviously don't want to wait for that because it will need to download it as well. So here we go, it's 4.37 gigabytes. So I'm going to click install. Um, install two. Okay, so that has been set as default. Now that is fine, that's a Linux folder that that's installed into. And as you can see, I've got 70 gigabyte free because I have 90 gigabyte. If you don't have enough space for your actual game, providing you've got enough space on your actual Chromebook, you just need to change how much space there is for Linux. Okay, so if we click install and then accept, and then that should now go into my downloads. Yeah, so if we go to downloads, and there you can see it's downloading the game. Okay, so here we are now a couple of minutes later, and as you can see, it's downloading 78%. It's nearly finished, so it shouldn't be much longer now. So once that's installed, once it's downloaded, I'll install the game and then see how it works. Any issues you're having with Steam, I have got some videos on my 
channel that you can look at and so if you do get any issues try them but bearing in mind a lot of them videos were based on when it was installed in steam outside of the linux app for example so if you don't have the ability to install steam using a linux app but you do want to install steam on your chromebook i have got other videos where you can just install steam as long as you've got linux and there's a video as well a separate video on how to fix any issues that you might come across some people it's worked for and other people it hasn't so it is just trial and error but as this is obviously if you've got a, a powerful enough chromebook and this this is using as is a steam linux app okay so i've downloaded that game now so what we want to do is to try and run anno so you can see it's there anno 27 it's been downloaded so now just press play and it looks like it isn't doing much at the moment, but here you can see Anno 2070 running. So just you just gotta be patient and just wait for it to do what it needs to do. It's connected to Ubisoft Connect, which is fine because I've got it down on my tray, so it shouldn't be a problem there. And here we go, it looks like it's loading up. So I'm not sure whether you're going to get any sound come through. Hopefully you do. I can't hear the sound because of the way I'm recording, but you should be able to hear sound as well on that game coming on. And there we go. Looks all okay to me. Yep. Yeah, I'll just quickly go to a very quick game. Configuration of. which is pretty amazing being at this game although it's quite a few years old it's still quite the graphics are still quite good it's not a super intensive graphical game but it is you know there's a lot of commands and processes running in the background whilst you're playing the game so it's quite good that this now just loads up and i can use this on the stable channel no messing Your about yeah and there we go Look, looks like it's all loaded up all, all okay Objectives loaded. fine it's not jerky at all looks nice so i think i'm going to have a go of playing this game today and i can play it now locally on my chromebook without having to worry about an internet connection so yeah i hope you like this video if you did please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching